So what is going on guys and welcome back. So today is West Ham United versus Southampton of the 2018-19 Premier League season now. So today's going to be an interesting one. I'm, I'm, do you know what? It would be the most typical West Ham performance. Uh, I've just come off an amazing win against Tottenham Hotspur to go ahead and lose to Southampton. It'd be the most typical, typical West Ham. Uh, a good friend of mine, Owen, who was on my vlog last year, actually said to me, it doesn't feel confident at all for uh, today's game. I'm not sure they're going to put out a full side against us just because they're already safe. They've got nothing else to play for. But th th that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I just feel... I, I just honestly feel like it's whatever team wants it more. Like, both sides are safe. We're not going... No, neither of us are going down. And it'd be nice if we could win. I don't want to fall any further than the 11th. It would just be disgraceful if we do. So, it'd be nice if we get a win. At least we won't go any further than that today. Let's Palace win, obviously. I'm going to try and be a little bit more positive. I'm going to say 2-1 to West Ham. I think it's going to be a repeat of the, uh, the reverse fixture. I think they're going to go 1-0 up. And I think we're going to get two goals back. But, um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, you guys, so just in the ground now, uh, Southampton have started their whole tier in the away end. Not surprised at what they usually do. It's going to be a tough one, Said, Do you know what, though? Like, I'm just about to watch the game with Tottenham and Bournemouth, and uh, I cannot believe that uh, Tottenham are down to nine men now. It's a mad game. But um, I'm not... Do you know what, like, it could go either way today. It really depends what team wants it more. But I'm, I, just, I just hope that we can capitalise on our chances today, because seriously, look, we went today, I just don't want to fall any further than 11th. It'd be nice if we could do a double over Southampton, how long it's been since we lighted a double over them. It'd be so nice. So come on, you wines. I do have a bit of belief today. You know, apparently Wilshire's going to start. I'm not sure yet. I've heard that as a rumour. Wilshire and Lanzini are both going to start. It'd be great if we could get a full squad out, get a good go. I honestly think Southampton are up for the taking today. We could do it. Come on, you wines. Let's do it. Please, please, please. Five, I love it. Seven, 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 seven. Number 15, Carlos Sanchez. Number 17, Chief. Let's go in with a bunch of our tanks. We're going to I try to get a great chance for number two for us to score a goal. Come on. Come on! Get in the box, get in the box, get in the box. Dean Gunner. Lanzini. Great turn from Lanzini there. Dean Gunner. Noble. Noble to the corner. Very nice boots in. That's corner West Ham. Come on! Southampton the attack. Yeah. Clearly defended. Easily defended. Nothing at all. I was expecting a bit more. Looking comfortable at the moment. Here we go. Bang! Oh! Fraser Foster with a great save. Bang! Oh! Have a shot, have a shot, just shoot! Oh! Go on. Oh, man, we're so close. So close. Just getting the second goal there. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Right, no. Obiang. Obiang. No, but just, just play it easy. Just play. Who? Go on, Ollie! Go on, Ollie! Nalovic! Oh! So close. That could have been 2 0 so easily there. Not far off. Not far. Close to that 2 0 there to West Ham. We just got to put that away. Once we get that second goal. It's going to be a totally different game and I think we'll see it out. But at the moment, it's either, it could go either way still. Come on, get us in goal, seal this out. 
Where's he got this? Come on! Mark Noble, a brilliant interception in midfield. Three balls into an Alvic, and an Alvic puts it away me at 1 0. Come on! Brilliant goal. Oh my god, it's nice to have a good goal there. Freddy goes to Mark Noble on that goal. Brilliant sell, brilliant play. Yes! Come on! Alright, guys, it's half time, 1 0 to West Ham. Um, quite happily, thoroughly for the first half. To be honest, I feel like we should have a second goal, but um, it's not been the best game of football, but it's nice to be seen that we're winning. I just hope we can get a second, seal this game out, get the three points, seal it for next week against Watford. It's going to be a hard one next week, but um, I think we can do it. There's no reason we can't. We just cannot allow them to get into the game. If we get a second goal, there is no doubt we're going to win it. If they get a goal back, I don't know what's going to happen. So hopefully, second half, we'll get another goal, get it 2-0, seal it out, and let's do it. So, come your minds, let's do it. Corner West Ham should be in what we should go that 2-0 there. Lanzini with a great shot, just wide, but keep out do a brilliant save to keep that out of the net. Well done, Grady! Go on, Frederick. Go on, Frederick. Oh! It's how you end the season in style. Come on. Come on. Yes. 3 0. Brian Fredericks makes it three. Is it, there's no way we lose this, guys. It's all ours. Come on. <laughs> yes. Smashed it! Smashed it! Just, just put it wide. What a goal it would have been. So, so close. Should have been four there, four nil. Full time, three nil. That's a double over, uh, that's a double over Southampton confirmed. Absolutely brilliant. Food served, been by far the better side. Smashed them on the day. To be honest with you, I thought it could have been more at times as well. Could have been more than just three. I thought it could be four or five. We were so, so good. Next week at Watford could determine if we get top 10 or not. Come on, you irons.
the yeah, London yeah, Stadium yeah, this season. Yes, you guys, I'm back from the game now. It was West Ham United 3, Southampton nil, and what a game it was. It's so nice to have come to a win, especially for the last home game of the season. Practically cruise through. I thought we started off a little bit weak. I really did. I really thought until even when we got the first goal, I thought, you know, it could still go either way. Southampton could easily get another go a goal back, and then we obviously rode it out. And um, I thought as well, when we got the second goal, I really thought that killed off the game for Southampton. I honestly thought from the second goal, it could have just been more than three. I thought it could have been four, five. Um, I just thought we were really, really good on the day. And we did obviously have just done double over Southampton, so I'm not complaining at all. Anyways, you guys, just before I end this video, I just want to say that in the past few videos, I've actually been leaving a little co public comment for myself saying about... Uh, if you leave a question, you can possibly be featured in my final video. After the game against Watford, I'm actually going to be doing a, a video where your questions can be potentially answered by me. I did one of these last season, a QA. and a You can ask me anything. It could be about West Ham. It could be about any sides in the Premier League. It could be talking about who's coming up from the Championship. You can talk about any side. Just ask, me, ask below and I'll get back to you. Even if your question is not answered in my final video, I will personally go into all the videos where I put the public comment and I'll personally reply to each of your questions just to say thank you and obviously answer it. But obviously I'm gonna put all your questions in a little hat. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shake it up and I'm obviously gonna pull out from the hat where, which one I can answer. So anyway, anyways guys, if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all very soon.